Obama, why are you making us play an ancient game on a PS3? Uncharted, featuring Nathan Drake, one of the classics. Oh my God, this is so dark, it feels like a horror movie. Joe, we are literally on a PlayStation. Even the title is horror-themed. Joe, this is not a horror game. Uncharted is packed with action and adventure. Okay, Obama-rama, now you really have me hooked in. This is only the first game, and each game will unveil new discoveries. Oh God, I'm scared. Is this a horror movie? Seriously, Joe, it's a video game, and we'll be doing a gameplay. I told you before we started. Oh God, now there is a disclaimer. You're lying to me, it's a horror movie. Joe, just shut up. The game is about to start. Someone's got to read the script. Fine, there must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true story. I gotta be faster next time. Guys, how are we going to be playing this? Every time someone dies, pass the controller. That's correct, Bushy Wushy. My goodness, now appears the interface of a camera and a coffin. Guys, you lied to me. I'm scared as hell. Shut up. We just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake. Who's Francis Drake? Shut up, Sleepy Joe. 400 years ago. Is a mummy buried inside? No clue. Just watch the scene. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. This game looks so old. <laughs> this game is a classic. Thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong. Enough. Amen, brother. History is wrong the most of the times. Joe, keep your comments We're to dead. yourself. We're about to start playing. You can't defile an empty coffin. <laughs> Oh man. What the hell? I'm not understanding why he's so excited for that diary. You demented noodle brain, shut up and watch. We're starting to get involved in the story of the game. <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. It was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute, if my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't have- you got your story, lady! Yeah, dude, what show your value. Don't let that woman treat you in that way. Joe, this I is a serious right gameplay, so please don't say things you. that can drive us to cancellation. Baraki, as my new friend once told me, hold that thought. Something is about to happen in the Sorry. movie. Once I told uh, that to Michelle, and she almost dumped okay. me. Okay. If she would done What's that, it would on? be a favor. Uh, pirates. Pirates. I thought pirates has been extinguished yeah. and Jack Sparrow was the last pirate of the Caribbean. Pirates will never die and now they use guns, tanks and bombs. What are you talking about? Action is about to start, guys. Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? I don't want to sound chauvinist, idea, but sometimes women's solutions are not the best call. Well, I'm glad what? you didn't say something yeah, worse. So unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail. That's a Prison Breaks reference. Out. What an incredible What's series. Worse? And Panamanian well, jails are the worst Panamanian place to be alive. Jail. What kind of question is that? Yeah, if you know how to like speak English, you know how to use a handgun, it's in our constitution. I like your quote, but what you said is not in the constitution. It's a shame. Here we go. We're about to start the game, so I'll go first, just pay attention. I love the Panamanian jail reference, it reminded me to prison break. Are you okay, Donnie? How the hell they find us out here? It's no time to talk about it. Let's see if Obama remembered his days back in office. Baraki started with the right foot. What the fuck? This guy somersaulted while he died. Oh yes, I smoked the first two. This game is going to be epic. You are trying really hard to run up your body counts, Barack. That nig's pulling out his Glock. Shut up, Joe, or I will put you in the game. People are right. Video games are so violent. Just look how Obama killed two innocents with an explosive barrel. First, that's what elders say about video games. Second, it is the purpose of the game. Shoot against the bad guys. I'm going to love this game so damn hard. Man, you should practice your aiming. I'm trying to get used to the commands of the game. I don't play that much in consoles. I'm more used to play in computer. At least you haven't died yet. I still don't oh, get the no, point of the don't. game. Jeez, Joe. Boom pow, yeah, that's right, bitch. Get fisted in the face. Yeah, baby, let's go. We are harassed by pirates, and there is a useless woman who only cares about her camera. Michelle would be way more useful now. You mean for the pirates? Are you betraying us? You're only wandering in a ship and killing fake pirates. Joe, this is the first mission of the game. It won't be madness since the first second. Start shooting, Obami. There is another pirate's boat. Pac-Man is better is not a comment, is a fact. Look out, man. Oh, geez, there's two of them. How the fuck have you not died yet? Clearly this guy is wearing a bulletproof vest. It makes sense if I don't die because I have thick skin, but your anorexic body should have suffered multiple holes already. Zip your mouth, Donnie. And while it seems like I killed every Panamanian pirate... Not really. You chanted victory too fast. That was the kind of things I did younger with my friends. What kind of things? You know, fight between us. We used to... Gross, just gross, Joe. You know, it is fun to watch Obama playing this kind of game. I didn't know you loved shooting games. 
Why you say that? I mean, you're always standing for peace, but at the same time, you have been killing like 20 Panamanian pirates. So we are just bulletproof in this game? That chick got penetrated multiple times already, and she's still fighting. It's just a game. I thought you would say something like Joe, who believes video games make people more violent. <laughs> I love to see you getting smoked by a machine gun. It's not gonna happen. Just listen to the lady. They have a rocket launcher. Let me take cover first. Oh, guys, the ship is on fire. It's pretty obvious, Joe. Totally agree, it's obvious. It was sarcasm. Now, there's an airplane. This game is well developed. We have been playing for like five minutes, and there's a lot of action, except for the part where we aren't bulletproof, because Obama would be playing on forever. Now you're the annoying one, Trumpy Rumpy. Think fast, Obama. The ship's sinking down. Joe, please stop saying the most obvious things. I thought that info would be helpful. Geez, the woman hasn't done anything until this moment. She's only worried by her camera and doing nothing. Whoa, the ship just exploded. Joe, everybody here is watching the same damn thing. It's not necessary having you as a kind of narrator. You could ask that before. It's my pleasure to be the narrator of the gameplay. No, damn it. Don't describe what is happening on the screen. We're not blind. Well, I'm happy they are safe now. Hey, look, an elder man like Joe, but seems more friendly and less perverted. Hey, I'm not a pervert. No comments. No comments, too. You all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. It's a lie. Therapy doesn't fix anything. The thing is, you're a lost cause, so there's no therapy that can fix you, Joey. We'll get you screen time. Hey, he's flirting as I do. Victor Sullivan. Thanks for the facts, Joey. For Christ's sakes. I would never understand why Adventure Games had a short, easy first mission with a lot of useless chit-chat. You don't understand the worth of background story. We have a treasure seeker, a random mistress that only does observations about situations. Think the old man. Video games has been evolving so fast. Well, Currently, they seem too real. Last time I played video games was in an Atari. You're truly so you old. Guys, carpet. pay attention to the cinematics. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death. Geez, like Francis said, Drake Sully. faked his dead, just like he Michael Jackson. Something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. What the hell are you talking Thanks about, Joe? Lawn, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. She's so shady. These scenes are kind of boring. You are boring, Joe. And be quiet. We need to get the story of the game. Whoa, I'd love a holiday somewhere here. Bro, I'm actually loving this game. Completely by surprise. He captured their ships. He took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. This game has shootings and history. Baraki must be so excited. You bet. This game rocks, and we are just starting. But there's too much context about people I don't care about. Queen Elizabeth, Francis Drake. Who's next? Joe Biden? I know you've always cared about me. No, I don't. Guys, shut up. We're still on the cinema. Men only interested in the climax. Men are only interested in the climax. Donald Trump 2023. It's a fact. Okay, then. Yes, he's like Joey, but without being gay. I'm not gay, you chubby tangerine. If you say so. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something. What is El Dorado? Right. A Does treasure. Man, shut up. The cinematics oh, explain so the now game. You're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn up. Totally expected. If not, the game would be too I'm short. You, I thought Biden was the only one this doing useless it. comments. This Bro, that was important. Yeah. Only we got one little problem. Jesus Christ, I love Sully. He has charisma, confidence, and a chauvinist. I love that. Just look at her. She just has been like a stone in the shoe. You only stand for controversial comments, don't you? Of course, absolutely. This girl is kind of shady. She only appears saying silly things. Women are shady. Okay, guys, enough with chauvinist comments. That camera is just as old as Biden. I'm sure I'm older than the camera. It seems that Nathan fell in love with her. Nah, I don't think so. Let's do a bet. I'm in. So am I. I think the girl will fall in love with Nathan. What, what is going on? I was saying, you know what, forget it. Sully is the best character so far, and he's only been during the cinematics. He's like the wisdom's voice. Everybody wants to listen to him. The situation is escalating too fast. Maybe they're going to kill her? You're exaggerating. I'm almost sure they will do something chauvinist. Baraki, you have been saying chauvinist so much. What's the deal about it? I'm trying to not get canceled by Donald's comments. Smart move, because Trumpy will say worse things. At this point, I agree with Donald. They will do something to no, her. I, I knew she was into some shady things. That's let's watch it. The hast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you. Yeah, let's go, Sully. That's what a real man does. Leave the girl far away. Hey! I really don't understand how you managed to get married, Donald Trump. Should've seen that one coming. Ugh.
Welcome back to President's Hiking in a Forest. Wrong intro again, Joe. Joe is so useless, we are playing Uncharted oh. Chapter 2. The search for El Dorado. This is getting super interesting. Okay, who's playing first today? I want to play because I am the Uncharted King, the king of taking down enemies. I'll be recalling the lore of the game, you know, just in case you start talking about random things. You love to kill every fun situation. Shut up and go to find El Dorado. I love barmaids. They are super sexy. Well, Joe, we haven't even started, and your perverted brain is kicking in. I don't get why they are in the jungle. It's because they are looking for El Dorado. And what's that? For real? They were talking about it at the end of the first mission. Sully is talking about Pablo Escobar. If I pay attention to every single word of them, I can even imagine they are looking for cocaine. This is worse than explaining the game to Joe Biden. Explain me what? Why is my name mentioned? Nothing important. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. I'm trying to order some fried chicken and enjoy the game. Count me in, Joe. I'm coming to your crib. Haha, <laughs> classic. You racist orange Oompa Loompa. It's true. You eat fried chicken 24-7. Why are they in the middle of a random jungle? What the? Dude, we're starting the game, and the lore, it's pretty clear. They are seeking El Dorado because Fran... Yeah, cinematics. It's my absolute favorite part of every game. I'm the kind of player who jumps every cinematic. Sweet cinematics, boys. You are so boring, Obama. That's why I call you a robot man. Shut up, guys, and pay attention. This is when you know the lore. I'm not understanding anything since we start playing, and... You never understand any event that happens in your life. You are wrong, Obama. Joe is actually the expert at sniffing kids and snorting cocaine out of Jill's ass. Ha ha ha. Get my wife's name out of your fat mouse, Donald Trump. Shush, guys, cinematics are the core of games like Uncharted. Are you crazy? I told you, I don't watch cinematics. It is a waste of time. Seems like they are lost. It's part of the development of the grand story. Did you see it? The chit-chat of the previous cinematic was unnecessary. They are still wandering in the middle of a jungle. But now we know the hint the founded with Francis Drake's coffin didn't work. Totally agree. Where have you been, Joe? Striking hard in the toilet. You are so gross in so many ways. I meant I was shitting hard in the toilet after all that fried chicken. At least Sully is the one with some great jokes. They are cooking a surprise. Oh, I love surprises. Yeah, Who's cooking a surprise for us? The game, Joey, it has the perfect setup to give a blow mining twist. If you fall from one of those cliffs, you're gay. What? It's a challenge. Whoever falls, that person is gay. Ooh, ooh, aw. Oh. Bushy yet. Bush was so close from being gay. You are so childish sometimes. I didn't know Bush were gay. I'm not. What a shame. What are you on about, Joe? He doesn't want to give a public statement, so Bush is concealing the truth. I must insist. Where is it the action? It's just a matter of time, easy boy. Did you see it? A clue. I must admit something about this game. Positive or negative? That jungle is a great impression of Latin America. That's why we need a disclaimer right before running into the game. For comments like this. This game is like Sully said, man, this is like finding a bride in a brothel. Why? It's too hard to find it entertaining. I mean, last chapter was all shooting, and now look at this crap solving puzzles. Sometimes you are so judgmental that you start criticizing before knowing things to their full extent. We need to figure it out how to get Trump quiet today. Look at those rocks. They are like fingers. Those rocks are even younger than you, Biden. I don't even know how old I am this year. Geez, your brain is pretty useless. Keep playing bushy. Tell me when the scene changes. This forest is so boring. The progress is looking more promising. It was a graphical description of each time I go to the bathroom. What a graphic and gross comment from you. I believe I'm going to puke soon. Whoa, 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 bro, it's unfair. You jumped, but the character didn't die. Now you're not gay. And why are you always wishing Bush would be gay, Trumpy? Because we agreed on the challenge. Jesus Christ, I hate bats. Tell me racist if you want, but that's exactly how I imagine border controls in Latin America. You're racist and xenophobe. Well, I think, Donnie, you could avoid that kind of comments. Why? People love to make fun of Latin America. I'm not sure about that, but what the hell are we getting into? I think there might be some action ahead of us. Guys, I'm lost in the conversation. Who cares? You don't have valuables opinions about anything. Oh, go fuck yourself, you filthy, <laughs> selfish, <laughs> racist, and xenophobe, huh? and homophobic, overgrown <laughs> sweet potato. Hey, Joe, maybe, yeah, just maybe you overreacted a bit. Ago. That's because bats make my blood boil. Pirate. Come on, Joe, we're paying attention to the cinematics. Well, yeah, dude, respect Drake. the lore. It seems Cristobal Colon was there. Wow, like so you know a bit of Latin American story. Did. Of course, he tried to give some evolution to the jungle. <laughs> then communists appeared on the region, and we all here know the end. It's impressive how biased your thoughts are. That is the price I pay for having a brilliant mind. Yeah, if you say so. More than one U.S. citizen can relate with Sully. Mean Big comment, but true. Aha, more than one who invested in Bitcoin last year can relate with Sully. Jeez. You see it? They are in Lima. It sounds like a third world place. Right up until this point, we know Nathan found Sir Francis Drake's coffin and a small notebook pointing to where El Dorado's treasure is. What's that supposed to He and Sully went to the place, but they noticed his missing. I know more about game plays than Biden knows about managing the U.S. Who is Elena? Oh my God, Joe Biden. Your attention span is less than the average American TikTok scroller. 
even less than a toddler. Yeah. Joe, you really need to focus on the lore and the game. The I was at the toilet then taking a fat friend, shit, remember? Elena is the girl with Nathan Drake who appeared in chapter one. Indeed, speaking of the devil, did you order more fried chicken Obama? Not again, Joe, not again, just don't recall that. Spaniards have a really bad reputation. Looks like I have to shoot that explosive barrel or else I can't get across. Move out of the way, Bush, it will kill you. That was cool as fuck. More unrealistic shit. It's just a game made to entertain people, not to accomplish the realistic expectations that you want in a video game. The first bullet was against a barrel. The barrel could contain explosives. It's not metal, you know. I want to play now. Remember, I did a threat against Baraki, so he will allow me to play when I want. You will forget that. Well, the word adventure doesn't fit with your personality, Joe. It's true, Joe is more of the word pervert kind of personality. Shut up, Ronald McDonald. The only perverted person is you touching girls in public. Don't you dare call me Ronald McDonald ever again, you dying yet somehow still breathing fossil. Okay, this situation's escalating way too fast. You know, on the flip side, being pervert is to act as Sully does, a chilled guy who is wise and tells some wit lines. Joe, have you ever used a dictionary? Damn guys, watch this. That old-fashioned right, supermarket go. car is strong way. as hell. There's no chance your neurons are working well in your brain. Just look at the supermarket car. It's holding a sliding door. Hmm, no comments about this. Oh no, Sully died crushed by the sliding door. Just a bit of suspense to get you hooked to the story. Sure, too hooked to the story you can feel you will die suddenly from boredom at any moment. You're cranky as hell today. Go for another beer to lighten up your mood, Trumpy Rumpy. What the hell is that? We are about to find it out. I bet yeah, we could do a massive BBQ like on it and spend the time of, of our lives crazy. doing the biggest and the best BBQ in the world. Obama has one, let's use it right now. Huh. What joke? I said BBQ, you dirty perverted Biden. Sometimes you say bimbo things. What did you expect about Donnie? He fits the stereotype quite well. I must admit it's important to have a smoker close to you. They can be handy in almost any situation you need some fire. Except when they are smoking next to you. Obama's race got scared from past experiences around smoke. What does cigarette smoking or weed smokers got to do with my race? I think Trump is referring to how smoke ash has turned you into the color you are. Is that what you really meant, Donald? Explain yourself. Come on, you nerd. Do you really believe what's coming out of that crusty Biden's mouth? This place reminds me of when I was a kid. Like a hundred years ago. And an uncle of mine. Oh, no way. You won't talk about your Texan uncle that... Drilled me out as a pump jack. I still don't know how disgusting and disturbing you can be. Are you kidding me? Only one minute of action and we are back to exploring? Calm down. Even five nights at Freddy's the first night was slow. We must know the lore. What's with you and Joe Biden and your damn lore? Follow the game, man. And you should follow the path better. You're a dead punk. Okay, finally it is my turn. Never in your wildest dreams, Joe. Why not? Because you're an idiot. Bush died and now it's my turn. And Baraki, don't forget the fried chicken you ate off me. Fine, that fried chicken was worth it. Here you go, you play. You won't be able to pass this part of the game. I'm just playing for fun, you know. You were so close. I had never seen Bushy so mad at Joe. It's a common side effect if you are too hooked with a video game. Every true gamer can relate. Hey, it's true. That shit happened to me once. That's the reason why I stopped playing video games. They do this to me. But when you play again, you find that aggression back. Or you always have been behaving in that way all your life. I don't know what are you talking about, but I'm killing it in this gameplay. Just take a look. I must say, it's impressive you have learned controllers without any explanation. I know he will fall at any moment. You will wait a little bit more because Joey is playing as if he doesn't have dementia. You need to trust others more, Bushy. Exactly. You need to trust more like how I swear I will destroy the TV if there is no action in the next minute. It's kind of funny seeing Trump rage. This is the only game where you don't shoot people and just running around. You're overreacting. We shot at Panamanian Pirates in the last gameplay, remember? But it was only like two minutes. It's just the beginning. It's like a movie. The intro always going to be slow. Unless it's a movie like John Wick. Even John Wick begins kind of slow because they create this sense of thrilling. If you say so. Oh, I wonder how Drake is still alive. Of course, massive action. I could die from a heart attack because of the boredom I'm feeling right now. I'm having a lot of fun wandering in the cave. This game is awesome. Keep talking and I will have a lot of fun wandering in Jill's cave. That would be awesome. You do that and Melanie would get it even worse. Trump, you were excited at first, but now you are becoming a bit unbearable. Hey, look, another big BBQ griller. Definitively, we must research about someone that can craft barbecue grillers and order one like that. I'm already doing my research. Ooh, I found someone in Mexico. What are you waiting for? Contact them. I'm in the BBQ griller business. I want some fresh and juicy meat in my mouth. It's impressive the 90% of the things Joe says, each one sounds incredibly inappropriate and sexual. I'm gifted if you ask me. No, you're a pervert, it's different. Don't you feel bored about just wandering into the cave? Nope, with this game, I feel I don't have fear to caves anymore. Once again, you have the opportunity of fall and pass me the controller. I am wondering why Sully is saying that. This is turning into a maze. The fun thing is Joe is still playing and doing it pretty well. 
Well, I guess caves in Latin America were designed in that way. Shame on you. You were criticizing me, and now you're the one doing xenophobic comments. Guys, I'd just rather we focus on watching the game and thrash talking later. You're too polite when you don't want to take position. It's true. Take position, Obama. We told before to move on with Latin America comments. So yes, it was kind of xenophobic. I see. Well, maybe I should reconsider myself. Now I understand Donnie's boredom. Oh, no. You're not allowed to tell something like that. You have been the one talking about the lore of the game, so you cannot trash talk about the game. I agree. Maybe you're telling that because you want to be the one playing. Damn it, I thought my plan could work and fool all you three. It's annoying to see Bush trying to get under our skin. You should admit the game have been so repetitive with the design of the cave. Perhaps it was because of the release year of the game. I'm starting to get bored. When action will start? Soon. Just give it some time. It is a long intro, I must admit. I swear you guys, especially Donnie and Biden, acts like the five or ten year olds watching their father playing video games. They want to watch, but always want to watch action. Ha ha ha, can't agree more. The pace of the game, it's pretty weird. I mean, you have been telling us incredible things about Uncharted, Obama. It's an amazing saga, just it's the beginning of the game. It's fun as hell, and there are four main games of Uncharted which are masterpieces. This is only the first game. And there is the Lost Legacy, which we will eventually all get to. My definition of fun is destroying stuff, or play horror games, things that boils my blood. I'm almost sure we need to solve something here. This? Did you play Uncharted before Obama? Wait, no, I this is my first time. Sense. I spent a lot of time watching gameplays during my second period as a president. It the seems it's like a puzzle or something so like that. You're right, it is a puzzle. Don't worry, I will solve this. Scooby-Doo taught me how to handle situations like this one. What a reference. Aha, uh -huh, I found the path. You have to climb these walls. I will step on Joe Biden like Drake climbing these rocks and I will make him collapse. Trumpy Rumpy, you are super moody today. Just wait, Donnie. I promise there will be action soon. This will last forever. We should do something else instead. Just wait, Trumpy Rumpy. I'm loving this game so much right now. I can't wait to shoot at some pirates again. If I have a gun, the first person I will shoot is you, Joe. Why are you mean, Donnie? Because you stole my election. Why do you check so many times the Nate's diary? It's important to understand better what to do, Obama-rama. But you never understand anything. Just wander and look the stone buttons on the walls. Just give me some time. I feel Scooby-Doo's soul helping me to solve this weird puzzle. You are so freaking weird, Joe Biden. Say something, Bush. Yeah, I mean, you are a bit too moody today, Trump. But Joe, what's with you and Scooby-Doo? Could you stop checking so many times the damn notebook? Chill, bro. I think I will solve this. Are you sure you will solve this, or will you take out that diary for the hundredth time? I learned from Scooby-Doo that if you want to solve a mystery, you need to be chill and flowing with the situation. At any moment, you will have the answer you have been searching. You cannot be serious. What is wrong with you and Scooby-Doo? Someone that is a century old that likes Scooby-Doo just means he is a pervert. He should be thinking more about his afterlife. First, I'm not a century old, and second, many people my age watches Scooby-Doo with their kids. I'm having a feeling Joe is struggling. Oh my God, Joe, are you that demented? There is only three drawings on that damn book. I really think Joe is stuck here for real. Don't worry. Hey, Joe, give me the controller. I know how to do this part of the game. Nah, nah, nah. I'm playing. I'm solving this. You shut up and learn from the wisdom Scooby-Doo gave me some years ago. If you mention Scooby-Doo one more time, I will call my friends in Mexico to turn you into a rotting Scooby-Doo's grandpa. Scooby-Doo isn't made in Mexico, and there is no Scooby-Doo grandpa. You bet, Joe, there will be one after today. Shh, shh, Joey's brain has been illuminated for once in his life. Let it work. While I'm playing, you could tell us something new about the lore. I won't say anything until I have back the controller in my hands. You should manage your anger, Bushy. Even old people act like teenagers over video games. Fine, you're right, Obama. Maybe I need another beer. See you, pal. Enjoy your beer. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun watching Biden solve the puzzle instead of Bushy. Yes, it is. I thought Joey would be dying at every turn of him. It's a thing about balance. If I play calmed, I will flow with the game. If I play stressed, I will struggle with the game. This sounds very much like a Buddhist thing. It is, my friend. Since when were you Buddhist Joe Biden? You've been lying all day. I gotta say, you're acting weird today, Sleepy Joe. Wait, guys, I think I got it. Oh, hell yeah, I solved it. I wasn't gonna say this, but congratulations, Joe Biden. Thanks, Trump, my favorite rump. It seems as there is a new portal to another dimension. If that place exists in real life, I would love to visit it. For real? Yeah, at least to give it a look around. It's quite a scary place. And I just want to play again. Please, man, move on and let Joey have some fun. Also, he's playing well. I must say that Nathan have some crazy ideas. What did you expect it? He's a treasure seeker. It's clear he will have crazy ideas. Yeah. At this Which point, I feel they have been walking for years trying to find the weird treasure. Down. Maybe the pace of the game has been kind of slow, but it will be worth it. I believe they are close to finding the place where El Dorado is supposed to be. Don't spoil it, Bushy. I feel kind of kinky digging inside that hole. Jeez, man, how much weirder can you get sleepy and pervert Joe? Damn it, Joe. Try not to say things like hey, that. You're disturbing. And very kinky? Shut up for once! 
Joe, stop saying things like that. Obama's voice is cracking, yelling at you, old man. Guys, I give up. I'll play the next time we record another gameplay. Oh my God, guys, this hole even has numerous exits. Oh my God, I can't do it with you anymore. Just clean your brain, Joe. Seriously, I mean it. But this is deepest I have ever been inside any holes. I'm so excited to keep exploring. Can you please say cave next time and not say hole? We have kids watching us, so. I can relate with Nate. Jeez, man. 80s were crazy times. I agree, this location is giving the 80s vibe of us being super adventurous. Oh my God, I couldn't be swimming in there. Joe Biden can swim and end up dying in the waterfall. I accepted your challenge, Trumpy Rumpy, and I feel like this water is fishy yet warm. You're disgusting. But most important, I'm kinky. Just look at the reference. Nathan went through a wet hole. Oh, shut up, Joe Biden. Don't say things like that again. Well, apparently Joey will be the one getting us through the puzzles today. Guys, this wouldn't be so fun without you. It's nicer when you say kind things instead of all the pervert stuff that is in your damn brain. Damn, man, I really wish to pass this level. Not today, cowboy. Joey is really the special one playing Uncharted. Yeah, look at me, oldest, but the one with the best reaction speed. See how flexible my Nate is? I swear, the only action we watched today have been explosive barrels and two minutes of shooting pirates. Uncharted is a great game, just give it some time. I think after this part, we will see something awesome. Hey, man, keep to yourself the spoilers. We are still in the damn cave. Honestly, this is a foundation of what is to come to the game. Everything will come together eventually as you go through the chapters. Here you go, more action, Trumpy Rumpy. I must insist on the fact that... If it's a comment about Latin America, keep it for yourself. But it was something about their architecture. I was going to say something nice, you boring robot. I won't buy it. Keep the comment inside of you. You really are good at sucking the fun out of everything Obama the boring llama. If Joe survives to this part of the game, he will be the one finishing the whole gameplay. And he did it, fool. Oh my god, this scene makes my blood boil. It's a maze, and I love playing mazes. It just looks like some sketchy road path you have to walk through. Of course Obama knows the safety of these things. And what the fuck do you mean by that? I mean, isn't infrastructure back in your hometown all the same? That is kind of true, and that is because we were poor okay, but we all had happy lives. Oh, frick, 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 the pathway's collapsing. Uh, uh, quick, Nate, quick. Obama can relate. What do you mean, Obama can relate? Come on, Nate, come on, don't make me die on the last second. Ooh, oh, 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 damn, man, that was so close. Hell yeah, I made it, that was exciting. You are quick on the controller, Joe, and it's not so boring now, right, Trump? Okay. That was only 10 seconds of a scene. Sully did it in the easy way. That is because he is a smart guy, much smarter wow, than you at the like same age, Biden. Smart. How did you know Sully's age? You call that Donald Trump instincts. Nice instincts, Trumpy. Finally, we are close to the light. You have a weird fear towards darkness, Joe. Yes, I do, and I don't know why. I don't see any statues here. Sometimes characters and settings in movie and games are too silly. Okay, guys, this is the moment when you shut the fuck up and pay attention, because you know cinematics. Part of the lore. Man, you're getting us bored of repeating the damn thing of the lore. I kind of appreciate a small cinematic after jumping through the rocks and pulling out of that deep as wet hole. You disgust me, Joe Biden. The second you die, I will piss and take a shit on your grave just to remind everyone how disgusting you are. They are about to talk about the El Dorado, and here goes the statue you complained a minute ago, Trump. Thanks for the spoiler, dude. Trump, I will shine that torch in your eyes and you will go blind and cry like a baby. Shush, guys. Focus on the cinematic. I would love to have that statue. Guys, shut the fuck up. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Sully is a wise man. As a successful man, money always go first. Trash. Damn looks like more puzzle and cave adventure thingy ahead of us. Guys, focus on what's happening. Be quiet. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Of course, you will follow tracks of 400 years old. Well, it's a game. Guys, did you notice that you have been trash talking the whole damn moment since we start playing? And what is wrong with that bushy? We are supposed to play the damn game as if it was a movie in silence, enjoying the game and its cinematics. Take it easy, man. You will die from a heart attack. I won't die because of a damn heart attack. I will die because if you don't respect the experience of man who is trying to analyze the damn lore of such an amazing game as Uncharted is. As I was telling you, Baraki, I would love to have a statue of gold. Jesus Christ, you're so annoying, Trumpy. Finally, I defeated the cave, and with it, I overcame my fears toward caves. Fuck yes. Huh. You have been telling Please us that here. like three times already. I knew they will lose the tracks to find that El Dildorado. Damn games nowadays trying to create fake expectations. El Dorado, not Dildorado. So Spaniards were real criminals. And then you say, I'm xenophobic. We should try to not argue too much among us. Sounds great, but it's impossible. I agree. We're built in this way, just arguing among us. Oh, Jesus, I love that game among us. Oh, shut up, Matt. Okay, Donnie and Bushy are right. We have came a long way. I'm just hoping to finish this chapter of the game and move on to more action. We're close, really close, I suppose. All thanks to my puzzle-solving skills. 
It's just the start, Biden. The real action is in the fighting later on. What's that? It seems there's a huge piece of turd, it's a massive one. You will never change, Sleepy Joe? Well, I will walk right up to the piece of turd. It's the hull of a ship, not a piece of turd. The only turd is your brain cells, Krusty Biden. Yes, another cinematic, let's goo. Geez, another cinematic? Ah, uh, get prank Trumpy Rumpy the Humpity Dumpity. Stop calling me by those nicknames cocaine infested and pervert Joe Biden. I can't wait to push you off these cliffs and watch you as you die. Ha 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 ha, get pranked again. There's a cinematic so you have no chance to push me off, dickhead. Ha ha ha. Just chill out, we are about to finish. I genuinely hate that crusty dying dinosaur with a passion. You overreact at every cinematic sequence. First was at the game, now you're going off a joke. Hinky? I thought Sully said he feels kinky. You're the one misunderstanding yeah, everything with sex. Joe you know, Biden is actually super before. duper disgusting. Uh, what has gotten seriously. into his brain lately? Guys, shut up. You what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you. I feel that Nate would be a real person. Yeah, we could right. be great friends. You he have charisma wait, and wait, good wait, jokes, wait. which is just like me. Of course he is a real person. You thought he was fake. Guys, okay. please, I just want to watch their cinematic in peace, like bro. Oof, looks like a new chapter with some action. Now we are talking. Finally, the boring part is over. Subscribe, guys. We'll be back.